I cook at my bakery every day, but I never want to stop learning. So I'm on a quest to discover the most amazing desserts of the country. Today I'm exploring the world of sugar art. You won't believe how competing chefs turn pulled sugar into towering showpieces that tempt the laws of gravity. And imagine a cake that costs $8,000. I learned decorating tricks from a master designer. Center yourself and breathe out. <laughs> You'll see it works. Plus, I'll reveal my own baking secrets as I teach you how to make amazing 3D chocolate cutouts that turn your cake into a work of art. I'm Warren Brown. This is Sugar Rush. When it comes to cake design, Ron Ben Israel is the master of decorating with sugar flowers. His intricate floral designs can turn the most basic wedding cake into a fantastic work of art. So what do people say when they see the cake? As Usually they say the same thing. I don't believe or I can't see cutting the cake. Wow. They, they, but they do, of course. They want to taste it after the seed. Do they you eat, the, eat flowers? the flowers? Yeah. You could actually eat a sugar flower, but most Brides like to save those as keepsakes after the wedding. Each bloom is a botanical masterpiece. And then those flowers that are all sugar flowers that we worked for two weeks, it took about 400 man hours to create everything you see here. In his New York City studio, Ron and his team produced dozens of flowers every day. Can you show me how to make them? You sure? Yeah. You're gonna be hooked. Today we're making orchids. The flowers start with a dough made of powdered sugar, vegetable gums, and gelatin. The recipe is ancient, but our tools are thoroughly modern. I also use the motorized pasta machine. <laughs> I go to the modern stuff. Huh? Exactly, nice. makes things much faster and also consistent. But once the dough is rolled out, the next stage is hands-on. We cut small shapes for the throat of the orchid. Then a ball-tipped tool helps give them a frilly look. Soon the orchid's white interior goes on hold while we get set to work on the green petals. All orchids have two sepals and three petals. We practically have to learn the botanical structure of the flower. After we get the shape for our petals, a silicone press adds texture. Ron reveals his secret technique in a moment of zen. Center yourself and breathe out. <laughs> you see, it works. I center myself and, and I breathe out. <laughs> like that? Yep. Yeah. And let's say, let's see what happens. All right. Excellent. Lift it up and... Nice. Cool. All right. Okay. Cool. Let it dry. After 24 hours, each flower piece is ready to color. The orchid center is dry brushed with food pigments for realistic detail. We're using the yellow to convey pollen. Moving on, you take a little bit of the orange and a dusting of purple brings the edges to life. You notice that the throat that we are coloring now is the most dramatic part of the orchid. It's a sexy flower. It is, very. Assembling the flowers is as easy as wrapping the wires together with floral tape. Let's start with the center. Wrap the tape around the base. So, how do you think? You did it. You did very well. It's good. Yeah, I'm psyched. Excellent. Thank you. One more? Yeah. We have 50 more to go. Okay. 
With this many hours involved, sugar flowers are expensive. A cake covered in them can cost up to $8,000. Decorating each one is a pet project. The hardest thing to do is let go of the cake and bring it to the location and then leave. I hate leaving my cakes. Uh -huh. Now I want to keep spending time with them. For the bride and groom, the flowers are a lasting keepsake long after the cake is gone.